Hi, I'm Sean Yan, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this polynomial, 3 minus 6n to the 5th minus 8n to the 4th minus, parentheses, negative 6n to the 4th minus 3n minus 8n to the 5th. Well, from here, <clears throat> from here, I'm gonna I need to simplify this, and I again I like to have everything adding a negative, so I'm gonna take everything in this parentheses um, and make that three plus a negative six n to the fifth plus a negative eight n to the fourth. And your teachers might not like that technique. I find it easier for myself. It keeps everything in line. Now I'm gonna distribute that negative across to all parts, and this one's tricky. So we have. Distribute the negative into uh, negative 6n to the 4th, that's plus a positive 6n to the 4th. Distribute again to the negative 3n here, so two negatives make it plus a positive 3n. And distribute that negative over here as plus a positive 8n to the 5th. I find that if I make everything adding a negative and plus a plus positive here in addition, I find I don't make mistakes, or as many mistakes. We all make mistakes, right? I don't make as many mistakes, and so I, I do it that way, okay? So now I have everything written out with addition here. I'm going to put my like terms together and my highest degree first. So I see a uh, fifth power is the highest one, right? Fifth power. So we have negative 6n to the fifth plus right here, I'm bringing on this 8n to the fifth, 8n to the fifth. I'm rearranging using the community property. Now I have to the fourth powers, okay? And if you want to make a little mark on ones that you've done just underneath, that kind of helps, okay? Uh, and negative 8n to the fourth, negative 8n to the fourth. That one, I have this 6n plus 6n to the 4th right there. And then left with just a 3n, so we have plus a 3n right there, and then plus a 3. <coughs> so now I want to combine my like terms. Okay, oh, plus 3, I didn't mark that one. Let's just actually, just before I do that, let's double check I have everything. 3 is right there, negative 6n to the 5th right here, negative 8n to the 4th right there, 6n to the 4th right there, 3n right there, 8n to the 5th right there. Fantastic. And all of them <coughs> have dots on it, kind of a way to double check, make sure I brought everything down. Now let's combine our like terms, the highest degrees first. So negative 6n to the fifth plus 8n to the fifth is 2n to the fifth. Negative 8n to the fourth plus a uh, 6n to the fourth is a negative plus a negative 2n to the fourth. Then we have just the plus 3n left, 3n plus 3. And now I'm going to rearrange this. I don't like to have plus and negative, I'm going to make it subtraction. So we have 2n to the 5th minus 2n to the 4th plus 3n plus 3. And I only like it to be a subtraction in my final answer. When I'm simplifying, I like to add in a negative. And that's just my own personal preference there. And there we have it. We have our final answer here of 2n to the 5th minus 2n to the 4th plus 3n plus 3. So let's recap. We're given parentheses 3 minus 6n to the 5th minus 8n to the 4th and parentheses minus parentheses negative 6n to the 4th minus 3n minus 8n to the 5th. I distributed this, the minus sign across <coughs> and made everything adding a negative. Here I made everything adding a negative as well. I find it easier. Then I decided to rearrange highest degrees first. That was the fifth power. So we have negative 6 uh, n to the fifth and 8 n to the fifth. And I put little dots underneath each term as I went down to make sure I didn't forget anything. You know, every term up here will have a dot on it. Then negative 8 n to the fourth right there, 6 n to the fourth, 3 n down here, and then 3 down here, all rearranged using the commutative property. Now I simplify, six, uh, negative six n to the fifth plus eight n to the fifth was two n to the fifth, positive two n. Negative eight n to the fourth uh, plus six n to the fourth is negative two n to the fourth. Then the three n came down and the three came down. Okay, now from there, and I only use the dots generally or something like that. Um, some markings are similar when it's really complicated. You can use the dots from that uh, stage down too, that's fine. Uh, so now we're pretty much done. I'd accept this answer if I was a teacher, but I like to see everything nice and neat. And adding a negative can be written as subtraction, and that's I kind of convert everything back to that because I think that's nicer, uh, neater uh, at, at for my final answer. So my final answer here being 2n to the 5th minus 2n to the 4th plus a 3n plus a 3.